everybody, I'm Dan, the editor of War Games Illustrated magazine, and I'd like to take you on a bit of a tour of the latest issue of the magazine, this one here, WI412, the April 2022 version of the magazine. When you're in the shops, look for the British soldiers landing uh, on the Normandy beaches on the cover, which is very appropriate, because with the magazine this month, you get this free frame worth about six pounds or ten dollars. Uh, it's a bolt action frame courtesy of Warlord Games and it's a British slash Canadian frame. So that's you sorted for ooh, six figures for uh, World War II there. Right, let's take a look inside the magazine and I'll tell you a bit about what we've got in there. Scooting quickly to the first of our regular sections, we have a couple of quick fires for you this month from your fellow gamers. One featuring some rather lovely Lord of the Rings conversions, the other a 15mm Wild West setup. In this month's observation post, we take a look at the new Blitzkrieg book for Rapid Fire, some resin dragons, and new retreat from Moscow French for Musket and Tomahawk supplement, Shekos and Bayonets. Release Radar is where Dom Saw shines a light on more obscure recent hobby releases, including Halfling Tomb Raiders, Sewage Works, a working Lithobolus and 20th century sci-fi from Crooked Dice. Neil Smith supplies the last of our regular sections in the form of full paper jacket, new books for the discerning wargamer. Before we head into the first of our Facing the Elements theme articles, in which a cross-section of wargaming luminaries talk about playing games involving the earth, air, fire and water. We cover everything from Don Featherston's sandbox gaming to flamethrowers in bolt action. In support of the blam blam ah rules we gave away with the magazine last year, our next article is a new scenario for the game by author Dan Mersey. Back to the elements next, WI painters and model makers Mark and Callum were given the task of constructing a tabletop vignette based on one of the elements and using the freebie figures given away with this month's magazine. Callum went for air, or more specifically wind, and Mark for water. You can see that they knocked together in this article. Heading into the dark with the next article, games designer Graham Davey of Grey For Now Games introduces us to his forthcoming game, O200 Hours, in which players play out covert World War II operations in the cover of darkness. Graham explains the drive and concepts behind the rules and its accompanying figure range. Earth takes centre stage in our next article. We take you on a tour of a marvellous World War I Western front table, exploring the detail on the board and hearing from the model's designer. Our next short article looks at the life and times of French General Jean-Jacques Pellissier and how to use this charismatic leader on the tabletop. We take to the water next with an advanced preview of classical naval rules Talassa. It's early days for this dynamic trireme skirmish game, but we really enjoyed our playtest game and decided to rush it into the magazine. The Silver Bayonet Society returns with the next part of our in-house campaign, which takes in three more action-packed games featuring troll poo, changelings and lots of men falling from buildings. Returning to the waves, up next, we learn from James Morris about how he constructed the realistic Mediterranean shoreline on his El Cid board. Strength and Honour is the new 2mm epic battles game from Rice Switz Press, part of the Two Fat Lardis stable. In this designer's notes, author Mark Backhouse tells us why on earth he wanted to write a 2mm set of rules and how the game plays. Concluding our theme, painter Mark returns to show us how he put paint to brush to model to get some gorgeous earth, water, fire and air effects on some classic Citadel models. And James then provides stats for using elements in the Silver Baronet. Is Andrew Warner is our next port of call. US gamer Alex Smith talks us through the construction of his South African board, complete with a 3D printed Sphinx Hill. Our concluding article for this month is an interview with the games designers behind Slain the Miniatures game from Warlord Games, Andy Chambers and Gab Thorpe. After a scenario playthrough, the dynamic duo talk to us about their game's design philosophy and share their love of all things Turn and Og. 
So there it is, the April 2022 issue of Wargames Illustrated, WI412. And don't forget, you get this free Warlord Games British slash Canadian frame with it. If you don't know where to get hold of a copy, go to the Wargames Illustrated website, check out the stockist section. It'll tell you everywhere in the world where you can buy a copy of the magazine. Okay, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy it. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime, Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.